Hello, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome to Epic Sars. I am Shikha Jain, and today we are going to cover subflows. So the prerequisite for this is that I'm assuming that anyone who is watching this video have some basic understanding of the flows. And if not, then maybe you can just go through the other videos and then come back to the subflows. So today we are going to cover it. What are subflows? Why we should use it? What are the type of flows? And the possible use cases and create screen flow with a screen subflow so this is one of the pocs which we'll be doing after covering the basic concepts and create record trigger flow within auto launch subflow so now what is subflow so assume that that you have are having a main flow and you are thinking that you have a repetitive logic which you have to take out uh, as a modular repetitive logic which you want to use across the flows so that is the ideal thing that we can take it out uh, from the main flow and create that as a subflow. So it has an input for sure for, uh, you know, every subflow will have an input when you're calling from the main flow. But it depends, uh, like whether you want to return something or not, or you just want to do some processing and get over with it. So not all the subflows need to return as an output something, but it will definitely need an input for sure. why we are using subflows so it definitely helps us to create a reusability in terms of that a common logic of functionality pieces can be separated and reusable across the flows modular in such a way that we are breaking down all the complex logic and creating subflows separately for that and then bundling them all together to create your main complex flow encapsulation it is like, for example, you are whatever you are doing in a subflow, like, for example, create a case or do some application error handling. Uh, so these are the, the things which you are doing something. So then this logic of that is encapsulated. Uh, you uh, as a user, you will not be much bothered. It, it you know, like in your main flow, what's happening and then code organization. So it improves definitely your code organization and maintainability. Think about that you are having a very, very big, huge flow and it doesn't, uh, you know, it is not that maintainable or readable. So even using subflows from that perspective also helps to make it cleaner. We know that, okay, we are calling this subflow for this functionality. So it becomes more clean by separating the logics rather than creating one main big flow. Uh, and then sharing across the flows. So this is one of the main feature which I think is that any repetitive logic, as I said earlier, is like which is modular and reusable and it can be used across the flows. So you create one flow once rather than creating that piece again and again in all your flows and you can use it across here, all the flows. Now the use cases. Now, for example, uh, we have a screen flow and where we take the inputs uh, like in a survey feedback form uh, and we are doing it repetitively. Uh, like, is it something that we want to create the screen in all of our uh, screen flows if, the, if we need that kind of screen for always? <coughs> Sorry. So maybe we can take that piece separately and create a screen subflow for that. And then we can call that screen subflow in our other screen flows, wherever we need that uh, screen uh, again and again. Similarly, for example, for lead qualification, uh, if you are creating any screens for the lead qualification and capturing the lead inputs, then maybe we can create, uh, you know, separate that lead qualification form separately and just call it from your other screen flows, from your main flows. So these are the examples. One main thing which we have to be careful about the screen flow. If you're creating a screen flow subflow, like a subflow as a screen flow, then remember that, that you can call it only on the screen flows. If that flow is a screen flow, you cannot call it from the record trigger flows. You can call like auto launch flows from the record trigger, but not the screen flows. If, uh, if you need screen to be called within screens, then, then that is where we would need screen flows as subflows. In all the other cases, we can use auto launch flows because that's the beauty of the auto launch flows that it doesn't need any trigger, it doesn't need any inputs. Uh, so it can be used 
in all the flows, screen flows, record trigger flows, and even auto launch flows on its own. So we can use auto launch flows as subflows wherever we need uh, any business logic or you know any handling. So that's it for the concepts as such. And now let's move to the demo. Today we are gonna create uh, a screen. So now let's uh, come to our Salesforce org and let's. Uh, um, see how to create a screen flow uh, and a subflow screen flow which we can call from the screen flow so I'm thinking about a use case where I'm just want to show um, or say hello welcome message so let's get started so if I'm thinking that I have to create that as a subflow and I'm trying to create that as a screen flow so I'm creating it So here, so first of all, since I will be I will need a input, so I will say that okay, I'm using my bad name and I am getting a text from my main flow. It's available for input. So this is what I will be using here in my this subflow. So now I'm just creating a dummy screen to just show, uh, so this is say my welcome screen and in here we are just going to show, okay, display text. hello and the username will come for bad name from me say welcome and if you want to show say current date maybe so it can be anything you know like you want on on your this screen which you want to show i'm just showing this uh, welcome message for now just to just a very basic uh, screen flow as a subflow uh, but it can be a very big screen where you are taking a lot of inputs like a survey form or so that can also be encapsulated as a subflow so this is just we are taking like one input and we are showing that we are processing that in our subflow and doing that logic and we'll show that in the main flow so now let's save it so this is a subflow then i can say that it's a subflow welcome message see Uh, I'm also activating it right away because I have to use this in my other flow so let's get into our main flow so now I'm calling this as a screen subflow remember then I can call it only in the screen flow so I'm creating that in the screen uh, one more screen flow which is my main flow so here I'm having screen where just I can take say for example a name and you can have other fields also like phone Here we are capturing the details so this is like a capture screen and we are having a name and we are having phone I don't need anything uh, other than just 
next row finish so I can just hide previous and say hide pause. I just need to finish one and then we can call my subflow. So I've already activated it. Remember that whenever you're trying to call a subflow, it's activated only then it will show here. So we are saying subflow. Welcome message, POC1. So yeah, so sub. So we can give a name here and we have to give a name here and we have to just pass whatever we are taking in our this name so I will just say that okay where name dot say first name and that's we are gonna pass it and say let's save it and now we are saving our main flow and uh, and I will call it like a main flow welcome um, POC one. So now let's debug it. when I click on the next so whatever inputs I have given on this screen flow from this main flow will be shown in my another do you see that so hello Shikha welcome and if you come back to my this flow then I have not created any screen where I'm showing a welcome message here it is actually coming from my sub flow which we have created so let's say finish and then so yeah, so this is pretty much uh, what we want to do today. So if we see that we have a main flow where we are calling a subflow. If you think that it is just a small flow, but it can be a very big complex flow. And we are kind of, uh, you know, uh, taking out the reusable pieces and bringing the modularity through using the subflows. So, and we are also encapsulating means like we don't know, need to know like what is the complexity of this flow we just need to see that how it works and what we want from it and we're just calling it in our main flow uh, so that's how uh, it can be you know very clean also and also that whatever subflow we have created today it can not only be used in this main flow but it can be used in all the other screen flows so whatever logic we want which, which we have identified that okay this is a reusable logic we can use across the flows so that's pretty much today about the main session of the uh, you know subflows and then screen flow as subflows um, and uh, so I will talk about the other part like for example error handling uh, and create auto launched uh, flows subflows and then call it from record trigger um, but um, I will just cover that in the part two. Uh, so stay tuned and uh, look forward for my part 2 for further details for advanced POC on this subflows. Um, thanks a lot for watching everybody. Bye-bye.